Hello guys, let's discuss this problem on lines and angles from R.D. Sharma. Here our problem is three coplanar lines intersecting at point O forming angles as shown in the figure here. Find the value of X, Y, Z and U. So you need to find out all these angles. You have been given 90, de 90 degree and 50 degree. So first you should know what are the coplanar lines. Coplanar lines are the lines which are lying in the same plane. So you can see here this is our plane. Let's suppose this is our x axis and our vertical axis is y axis. So two dimensional plane is actually a plane. So this is a plane here and all these three lines are lying in this same plane. So now when you need to find out the value for x, y, z and u. So how are you going to find out? I told you what you'll do, you'll see a line first. Here, you can see that this angle is 90 degree. This angle is 50 degree. So let's consider the line EF. Why? Because on line EF, there will be only one parameter, X. Because X, 90 and 50. These are the three angles which will sum up to 180 degree because these three are the angles subtended on a line EF here. So here, consider... Consider line EF where X plus 90 plus 50 will sum up to 180 degree. Now X is plus 140 will be equal to now value of X will be 180 minus 140. Now this is equal to 40 degree. So this is the value for x here. Now let's consider another line. Another line can be CD. Because now you know the value for x which is coming out to be 40 degree. Here on this line, on line CD, there will be only one parameter y. Because y plus x plus 90 degree. These three angles will subtend an angle of 180 degree on line CD. So now consider... Consider line CD where, where sum of y plus x plus 90 degree is equal to 180 degree. We have already calculated the value for x which is equal to 40 degree. Now let's use this value here in this equation. 40 plus 90 is equal to 180 degree 40 plus 90 is equal to 130 when you will take this value on your right hand side this will become negative 180 minus 130 will give you 50 so value of y will be 50 degree so this value is coming out to be 50 degree now which line you are going to consider of course you are going to consider line a b why because on line a b there going to be only one parameter z you already know the value for x, y. So now consider, consider line AB where these three are the angles. On line AB, these three going to be the angle x plus y plus z. Which will sum up to 180 degree. You know the value for x, you know the value for y which is 40 degree plus 50 degree, 50 plus 40 is 90 degree. So 90 degree plus Z is equal to 180 degree. Z going to be 90 degree. So here, this is equal to 90 degree. You can write this directly. How? You know that CD and AB, these are intersecting each other. So their opposite angles going to be equal to each other. I have already discussed this property with you. That when two lines intersect each other, then their opposite angles will be always equal. If this angle is 90 degree, in lines CD and AB, this angle is 90 degree. So this will be also 90 degree. That's how you can see here. Z calculated. We have calculated the value and which is coming out to be Z equal to 90 degree. Now you need to calculate the value for mu plus 50. You know that this intersection 
u plus 50 this will be equal to x plus y because you know that a c d and a b lines are intersecting each other that's why their opposite vertical angles will be equal so what you'll do let's equate sum of x plus y because this is the intersecting angle is equal to u plus 50 we calculated the value for x and y x is 40 y is 50 this is 90 degree u plus 50 so what will be the value for you 90 minus 50 which will be 40 so this is going to be the value for u i hope there should be no doubt here so first let's recollect our thoughts what we did here we use the properties here first we use the angle property on a line you know that angle subtended on a line is always 180 degree so we use that property and we used one more property when two lines intersect each other then their vertically opposite angles or you can say horizontally opposite angles going to be equal either vertical or horizontal it doesn't matter but their opposite angles will be always equal if you can't see this let's see this in this manner when two lines intersect each other then their opposite angles going to be equal that's what i did here i have equated the sum of x plus y with sum of u plus 50 so that's how you are getting the value for u is equal to 40 degree i hope there should be no doubt here i'll be taking more problems like this in the coming video lectures thank you